Hello Aries, this is going to be your reading to find out how you and your person are feeling about each other and also looking at the potential outcome between you and this person right now. I hope you're doing well. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into your energy first and then we're going to look at your person's, okay? If you would like to get anything from me, personal readings, mentorship, Anything that I offer, please check out the link in the description box below, okay? So, we have prosperity lies ahead for you, Aries. So, there's a good message about your money. New moon in Taurus. Um, in, in Western astrology, the new moon in Taurus is coming up soon. Um, in sidereal, it's a little bit um, closer to the middle of May. But... Um, Either way, it's coming now. Like, I'm recording this uh, April 21st. So there's some money coming towards you very soon. Within the next couple of weeks. And it's actually going to be money that you can secure for the next year. Okay, Aries. So just some money is going to be coming in for you. All right. Um, and I also get this as the Ace of Pentacles for your relationship. So there's commitment energy here. We also have Mars, which is your ruler. So... Yeah, this definitely is about you. This is definitely your energy, you see. I'm glad I chose your pal, your energy first. Because for the uh, some of the other readings, I did the other person's first. But your energy came up really strong at first. Like, there's a message just for you that pertains outside of this connection that there is about to be a really big, strong force of money coming in for you guys. So make sure you like this video so other um, Aries can see this. Um, and they can you guys can bring in that energy for Aries as a collective. Because big money headed towards you and this is something you've been pushing already so you're not surprised and maybe and i just got war because mars makes you think of war so this could be something you're fighting for right now so just so you know aries uh yeah and there's commitment energy you could be the one who's actually pushing commitment um whether you're the masculine and, and you've asked or whatever you know what i'm saying you're the one who's actually looking forward to a solid relationship right now with your person so their energy is showing up as emotions are running high. So they are really in love with you. And we have onward. Wow. So that's like the Mars. That's still like Mars energy. I always laugh because I think of the movie Onward, which is one of my favorite movies now. Um, because I just relate to the movie so much. It's crazy. It's one of the more recent, like, well, I don't know. Is it Disney or Pixar? I don't know. But it's one of the more uh, children movies that I actually can relate to. Um, just, you know, the, the movie is so funny. So if you've never seen the movie, I think you should watch it, especially if, if you have boys, boy mom vibes, great movie. But, um, yeah, so yeah, it, tell, it feels like you and your person are on the same page and that rarely happens in readings, you know, but it feels like you and your person are both wanting this relationship to move forward. This person's really emotional right now about you and i think just in general this could be someone who's not normally emotional so i think that's why spirit is pointing it out this person may not be someone who's normally emotional all right so let's see what is going on for aries we have the seven of wands in reverse i definitely feel like some sort of block is being lifted all right some sort of block is being lifted just letting you know we have the king of pentacles definitely could be done with a capricorn all right, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, okay? We have the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, like, look at this. Some of you guys have Taurus placements or something. Maybe you guys are Taurus and Western or something. You're watching your sidereal placement. But it definitely feels like there's abundance and a lot of love here, Nine of Cups. You feel very secure in this relationship. You feel very loved you feel like things have been rough. There might you might have even feel like there were some blockages here, but it feels like the blockages have been removed. We have the magician for your person, so yeah, they're like all systems go. We have the two of swords. Interesting. So I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who's not showing their emotions right now, but I feel with the nine of cups, you know this person loves you though. Yeah, it definitely could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This, you know this person loves you. This is someone who's ready for commitment, okay? If they are if they are in a relationship, it's with you for the most part. But for a lot of you, this is someone who's single and looking for a commitment. I, feel, I get like somebody who's ready to get married, 
Um, so I don't know if that applies, but it doesn't feel like somebody who's in a relationship already. But I mean, of course, take it the way it resonates. This phone is about to pop out of this damn thing. Uh, no, you're not. All right, I just had to fix that really quick for you because it was about to pop out. Um, and that's irritating because then I have to edit the video. Um, so yeah, like your person is not, it feels like they're trying to manifest something um, or just for some reason right now, they're just not showing their emotions, but just know that they are very deep in their emotions. Yeah, emotions are running high, but the magician lets you see what, what he wants you to see. So you're not going to see that out of your person, but you do know they love you with the nine of cups. I feel like you know you that this person loves you. Um, so let's get one more card here. Okay. We have the knight of cups. Yeah, they're expressing love. I feel like this is someone who is, I'm telling you, knight of cups. They aren't making like, they're not someone who like really expresses their emotions on a big like scale. So, but they are doing things that let you know that this person loves you with the Knight of Cups. Okay. Um, they're just not someone who likes to get too touchy feely. Um, but the fact that they're in your life pursuing you, you both are pursuing a relationship, a commitment. It feels like the Ten of Cups vibe or even the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this looks like a stable relationship. I don't really have too much to say about it. It's, it's to me, this is two people who want to move forward. Okay, um, common goals. I do feel like there might be a little bit of difference in personality or emotional if, if, if maturity or emotional, I want to say emotional intelligence maybe even too. Because it feels like maybe your person is someone who just has to not show, they feel like they have to, you know, not show how they're truly feeling all the time, but they do have these moments where with the Knight of Cups, they do the things that you need to feel loved with the Knight of Cups, all right? They're very well-versed in your love language. This could very well be an ex that you guys are reconnecting with. I'm not gonna say that is for everyone, but this feels like someone who already knows you and knows what you need to feel loved. And so even though they may, they're very maybe systematic, like a Capricorn, so it's like, you said you need words of affirmation. You said you need these things. So I give you these things so you know that I love you. Um, so, you know, that's, and if they didn't do that, you, you know, cause they're not, they're like, if I didn't care that much, I wouldn't even do these things. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just how the magician is. They're a very independent person. Okay. So um, yeah, some of you guys are definitely with Gemini cause I keep seeing that energy, but I'm getting Virgo, Aries, Pisces, any of the earth signs and Leo is here. Taurus. All right. So, wow. <laughs> These were the cards that were face down and you guys saw I did not look at this. I did not look at these. But look at this. I said it's giving me 10 of cups. Exactly. That's crazy. I did not see this card. I promise you. I didn't. It was definitely face down and I just picked it up and I'm like, "Hold on. Didn't I just say it's giving? It's giving. It's giving 10 of cups Aries." With the three of pentacles so uh trigger warning i'm gonna say okay so yeah for a lot of you this is going to wind up being a very happy ending um a relationship that works you two will build businesses together you will work together very harmoniously now trigger warning for the more uh open-minded people this is going to be like a poly relationship or some shit um for some of you that makes sense you're already on that vibe but that's only for those that it's meant for if you're not if you can't even perceive that that's why if you can't even perceive what i said you should have probably just went on clicked off the video right now but if you're listening to this part then you probably already know what i'm saying this feels more like um a solid foundation but it's kind of open because the magician is somebody here aries either it could be you or your person doesn't matter flip the energy somebody needs a certain amount of space autonomy freedom very spiritual person um and i just feel like for some of you, this will be an, a, like a, a poly relationship. Very much happiness, though. Lots of happiness, but definitely open, okay? So that's not going to be for everybody, but... Oh, shoot. I forgot to pull your oracle. So those who are triggered, I'm sorry, but here's your oracle. <laughs> here's your oracle to make up for it. But, you know, those type of relationships exist more so than they used to. So, shit. I'm sorry if that upsets you. I do. I'm not ready to be a grown up while I'm like a Sagittarius. So some of you, this could be a Sagittarius. This could be somebody younger than you too, is what I'm getting, Aries. It could be somebody younger than you, or you could be younger than this person. I see both sides, head ass. We get it, Gemini. Bad and we got Libra, a Fucus. Okay, one more. 
I know I can be a big kid. Yeah, so there's something about this person where they need some sort of autonomy. They may not even be aware of this. But they do things that make, they're like, oh, I'm independent. I don't need you. It's like they have, I don't know. Some of you, this is, it's the, yeah, this person's weird. But that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.